I've got to admit to a little bit of a lie. If you saw last week's video about Grizzly Bear product testing, the bit about the camera seemed pretty simple. I stuck a GoPro on top of the trash can, it got knocked away at some point when the bear turned the can over, it stopped recording, and then later the bear picked it up chewed on it a bit and then dropped it in a pond and obviously I was able to recover it because the footage from that camera is in the video. <sighs> yeah okay that's not what actually happened it's how my editor and I chose to tell the story because the reality was a bit more complicated and it wasn't relevant to the main point so we simplified it. There were actually two GoPros. The first was on top of the trash can, it really did get knocked off. It recorded for about 30 minutes before overheating, which honestly was far longer than I thought it would, given it was in a big protective case in direct summer sunlight in high temperatures. It did its job, and once the bears had gone back into their den, I just picked it up off the floor. The other GoPro was inside the trash can. It got knocked out of the can, and that was the one that the bear carried off, chewed on, and dropped in the pond. I assumed it was unrecoverable, that it had been crushed, and besides, that pond is filled with debris from the bears, so it couldn't easily be found, even if we could somehow dredge the pond. But the team at the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Centre did find it, just a couple of days ago as I record this, when they drained the pond for scheduled cleaning. I was back in Europe by this point, but they posted it to a friend of mine, Karen, from the channel Karen Puzzles. Uh, she does videos about jigsaw puzzling, it's a really good channel. While the big protective case had been broken, it was a write-off. The camera itself was mostly in one piece, albeit a bit damp and with a shattered screen. The memory card on it was still good, and there is so much incredible footage that it really does deserve its own video, and this is that video. To start off, there's this shot of Randy filling up the trash can and closing it, which honestly feels a bit sinister from that point of view, like Mafia movie last thing the victim sees vibes there. Anyway, the trash can gets rolled out and a few minutes later, the bear approaches, pulls it on its side and starts what they call CPR behavior to try and crack it open. The bear's going to turn the can over again now, so keep an eye out for the shadow of the claws that looks like something out of a horror movie. The sticky pad that's holding the GoPro in place is somehow still working as the bear rips the can open. It won't hold for long. Just going to give you a slow motion shot of those claws. This is not a cute and cuddly creature. This is a wild animal that can tear you apart. That's not a metaphor. Literally, a bear can tear a person apart. Do I need to say don't try this in the wild? Like, that's the whole message of the first video. Don't try to get footage like this. Do not risk making a wild bear even slightly more used to humans. Okay, this continues for quite a while as the bear keeps rotating the can, so I'm going to skip forward. The sticky pad finally fails, so the camera rolls around and gets covered in peanut butter and honey, which will be important shortly. For a while, the camera's not looking anywhere useful, and then about 10 minutes later, the bear finally gets the can all the way open and gets its food reward. Eventually, the bear spots that the camera has some peanut butter and honey on it, and so... Now, the bear's not stupid. It's not going to eat a lump of plastic like a camera. The worst case I could think of would be if it chomped down and punctured the camera battery, but even then it would just spit it out. No one at the centre was worried about the bears. Anyway, after that, the camera finally overheats and turns itself off. Job done. A few minutes later, the bear carries it off to play with it in the pond. Now, I knew the camera had overheated, which is why I said this. Sadly, definitely not recording anymore. But I was using the GoPro app on my phone, trying to turn the camera back on, and it kept showing weird error messages. So that's why I figured it had been crushed or otherwise damaged somehow, and it was a write-off. Well, it wasn't. It was fine. The protective case had held. A few minutes after it got dropped into the pond, something hit the shutter button, and the camera had cooled down enough that it turned back on, and recorded half an hour of murky water and bubbles before finally running out of battery. But that's not the last file on the memory card, because if you let the camera rest for a while, it might have just enough battery to record a couple minutes more.
and that is the selfie. It's very close up and it's accidental, but that is a selfie. Here's a slow motion replay of that one horrible shot of the mouth. According to the timestamps on the video, that's five hours later. Checking against the center's schedule, that means it's probably the same bear. Remembering the camera in the bottom of the pond, picking it out, playing with it for a while, and somehow managing to push the shutter button, and then dropping it back in the pond. And then, four hours after that, one more file on the memory card. No idea which bear that is, just a few seconds of footage of claws and the protective case coming off with the last gasp of the battery, which is probably where the camera actually got broken. And I've realised something. Those final shots, just the last two video files from In the Pond, that footage was entirely created by bears, accidentally. I didn't set up the camera, I didn't start it rolling, I had zero input into that footage. And so I'm pretty sure that for just those specific shots, just that final bit in the pond, I don't have copyright over that. That's public domain. The bear made that on its own, which is frustrating. I think I could probably make a lot of money licensing that, but instead I've uploaded the raw files to the internet archive. The link is in the description. And if you do use that in your own work, it'd be nice if you'd make a donation to the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Centre, because they've got bears to feed. And as for the GoPro, the screen is a bit cracked. It needed drying out, but it survived.